Speaking of incredible, our next segment is a DIY that will get you reinvested in the sweater vest. And of course, Julia is the one to bring it to us. Of course it's Jules. I love the idea of taking something old and making it new again. It's practical, it's fashionable. And these of course are both things that inspire your DIYs. Yes, Tracy, you know me. I'm just sitting around here waiting for these 80s slash 90s trends to come back again. And I'm here to tell you that the sweater vest is back. According to Cosmopolitan, the sweater vest is the trend of 2020. <laughs> but you know what? It truly, I think we can actually thank Harry Styles for bringing this trend back single-handedly when he stepped out in a sweater vest, very um, Princess Diana inspired. I mean, even Harry can wear sheets and still look hot. <laughs> but really, Tracy, I think every designer this season had one on the runway with their collection. The sweater vest, is it's just there. It's just something that's simple and easy to sort of pull together a polished look. And don't worry, if you don't want to buy into the trend, I have the simplest, fastest, and easiest DIY to make one out of an old sweater. You know what, you always do. That's why we love you. So some people will take a look at the sweater vest, um, especially the one um, Harry Styles is wearing and think, oh no girl, I cannot go there. You know, with the animals all over it. But it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be sort of the throwback to your grandpa. Like you can make it really chic with a few fixes. Am I right? You are so right. And that is the number one thing when trends come back in again, that you add that modern twist to it. You don't want anyone like, hey, in the 90s called, they like their sweater vest back. <laughs> so it all is how you actually style it. So the first vest is the Argyle vest. This is what I, you know, would think of as the traditional vest. So preppy in the 80s, a little clueless in the 90s, and it's totally back this year. And it's just something really simple, and I've just paired it with things that everybody should have, right? You've got your classic white blouse. I paired it with simple jeans, and wait for this. These jeans are made out of recycled pop bottles. Oh, yeah, sustainable. Pick those up at Marshall's. Um, and then the vest, okay? The vest, which I thrifted. You know, when I see the Argyle <laughs> sweater vest, I just think sort of, Timeless. I mean, that's an era I will go back to a gazillion different times. But what I like about the next example you're going to show us is the way you've styled it. Talk to us about that. Right? Okay, so this is that oversized look, that vest that's sort of oversized, that could have a little ode to the grandpa. But what you want to make sure is that you, you know, bring in the waist. That's a great idea of giving a little more structure and a little more shape. So I've done it here with a skinny little belt, looks simple, great, you know, gives that shape. But the best part, Tracy, I love is I put it over a fa one of my favorite summer dresses. This is another quick sustainable tip in fashion, is getting your dresses and clothes to go from season to season. So if you throw a sweater vest over top of your summer dress, you're all of a sudden seasonal appropriate when you go into fall. So it's great. Okay, Trey, I got to do the DIY. Come on, come on. This is the best part. It is so simple and you really don't need much to do this. So what you're going to need is a sweater. You will need scissors, uh, glue, and an iron. And that is it. And now you can work with a whole bunch of different types of sweaters. It really doesn't matter if it's like an old shrunken sweater, if it's a thin knit, thick knit, whatever you want. Um, I, of course, am obsessed with Argyle, so we're going to do the Argyle. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to cut off the arms. And you're going to follow along the original armhole. And you're just going to cut, cut. And, uh, you know, you don't have to be super straight on it, but just follow along and make sure that you've just... Keep it together like that. And here we go, here we go, here we go. And it's done. Okay, now hold on to your arms. I'll do another DIY later with that. <laughs> okay, so once your arms cut off, all you're gonna do is turn it inside out and you're just gonna finish off that arm hole. Now, what you'll do is you're just gonna fold it back sort of like this if you see Trace. And it's just an inch. You just wanna fold it back by an inch like that to clean it up. And you can measure an inch or sometimes what I just use is just use my thumbnail. A thumbnail is like a perfect inch. Then you'll just press that down with your iron. Simple, easy. Okay, oh yeah, Tracy, another tip here. Do not have your iron too hot and do not use steam. Yeah, rookie mistake on that one. But you just press it down like that. Then you're gonna take your handy dandy fabric glue and all you're gonna do is just close up the seam with glue. Simple, oh, come on out, there we go. 
And now the reason that I use glue, Tracy, instead of sewing, is not because I don't know how to sew. That's a well-known fact. But because when you use the glue, it will give a really clean finish. Okay, so now we're just gonna turn it inside out. When I was making this, my son was making jokes. Am I making muscle tees out of sweaters? It's not a muscle tee. It's a sweater vest. <laughs> Come on, kid. That's a, that's high fashion right there. So you know those arms you cut off? Those are those should be leg warmers. Like, let's just go back to the 80s now yes. with the arms and throw them on as leg warmers. I think it's awesome. Oh, my God. I love it. The sweater vest and the leg warmer arms. Oh, my God, Tracy. You're such a fashion designer. <laughs> Julia, so good. Thank you.